Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did for his. And I'm sorry for the previous installments in the past where I wasn't able to input this. I just hope you guys would forgive me for the inconvenience there. For this particular footage, I'm going to introduce three new characters. Alphabetical, because that's what you guys voted for. This character is known as Nancy Gray. So if you guys bear with me, I'll put this into uh, a transmission for you guys to um, hopefully be able to get and such, you know? I just hope it all works out, you know. Here it is. Nancy Gray. Real name, none. Height, 75 feet. Weight, 50 tons. Status, hero and professional nurse. Base, two Earths, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, loving, protective, and sneaky. She always enjoys helping others. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, pride, and low awareness powers she possesses a huge size great strength cosmic beauty and uncanny persuasion skills she is also able to heal others from almost any illness or injury eyes bright green hair deep yellow in shoulder length origin nancy gray was once an expert nurse who wanted to be a true hero for the innocents one day the wish granting Dijin, Dijin, appeared to Nancy, and she wished for her greatest desire to come true. Eventually, she became 75 feet tall, along with more astonishing beauty and healing skills. After she helped the anti tornado Corporation in dealing with a few uh, frost natos, Nancy used her powers to recover those who got hurt from the disastrous event. Since then, Nancy would do all that she can to keep death from overwhelming the populace, feeling more confident in herself than ever before. Costume? She wears a set of traditional nurse clothes. Teams? Solitary or with other heroes? Original inspiration? Nurses. This next storyline is about another character, which you have to understand a different character that hasn't been introduced as of yet to understand and such. I just hope that wouldn't be a concern for you guys. Octobomb. Real name, none. Height, 20 feet to 1,250 feet. Weight, 4.5 tons to unrevealed. Status, villain, and daughter of Octolossa. Base, default earth and mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, willful, destructive, and stubborn. She enjoys helping her mother. Lethality, unbearably fatal when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, explosions, and stab wounds. Powers, she possesses similar powers as Octolossa, along with mass alteration. Eyes, sky blue, hair, Bright blonde in chin length. Origin. One time, Octolossa figured that since Colossa had a daughter of her own, she would also have one for herself. Using her hermaphrodite skills, Octolossa spawned her own version of the heroic bomb, who she named Octobomb. When the newly born Octobomb joined her mother in a morbid rampage across Washington, D.C., the two kaijus were defeated when Bomb gave them a brut brutal punches that knocked them onto the U.S. Capitol. Since then, Octobomb would do all that she deems necessary to get her dire vengeance on Bomb. Costume? She simply wears a white waterproof top. Teams? Solitary with her mother and other villains. Order inspiration? Octolossa and Bomb. I hope it's not concerning for you guys in terms of you not knowing about Octolossa as of yet, but at least you have some idea. 
This one is about a species. And I hope it's efficient for you guys. The Pachydermians. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 85 feet. Weight, 93 tons. Status, anti-hero in residence of Ancient Island. Base, Ancient Island, Atlantic Ocean. Intelligence, varied. Behavior. Tough, protective, and willful. They'll do anything to protect their people from any unneeded threat. Lethality. Deadly to most opponents in war, whether solo or in a group. Weaknesses. Being overwhelmed by an opposing force. Powers. They have great size and strength. High intellect. Possess long and sharp tusks. Inhuman durability. And wields a variety of ancient weapons. They can also fight with their trunks. Eyes varied, hair none. Origin. Of all the creatures in Ancient Island, the Pachydermians are one of the most unique. They are a race of elephant warriors who aren't just wise, but also very warlike. A male Pachydermian has big floppy ears like an African elephant, while a female Pachydermian has small dainty ears like an Asian elephant. While the males are strictly built for warfare, the females are built for both warfare and maternity. As they prepare for future battles, they forge their own weapons and train each other in the art of combat. Due to their muscular build, they only forge armor for those that need them, especially for the equally dedicated women in the armies. Regardless, the Pachydermians is one of the deadliest warrior species on the face of the default earth. Costume. They wear fabric loincloths, but occasionally wear armor. Teams, solitary or in large groups. Original inspiration, elephant warriors. Well, I hope you guys um, appreciate the three new aspects that I've introduced. And um, sometimes I feel a bit impatient when it comes to what type of characters I would like to introduce. But I guess I just have to be as patient as possible to avoid um, any unneeded controversy and to just let it go with the flow. I just hope you guys understand that there are themes I would like you to uh, get a better comprehension about. But sorry to say, I believe it would be a bit gradual for that to be. So I hope you guys forgive me for that. So, um, until next time, I'm Leviathan. I'm Hope you guys uh, would like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And until next time, hope you guys have a fine um, early spring or something. Until next time, in transmission.